Okay, if you're curious about this game right now, it's at version 1. It's 179 megs in size. It's basically a ripoff of a mobile game called Paco. And if you haven't played that, I recommend you check it out. Uh, P-A-K-O. I think there's three versions of it so far, and that is a great game. Uh, the idea is that you uh, have to just outrun the police. Uh, you have ten cars that you can pick from. Uh, the problem for me, at least, was at least the first uh, eight cars were, were just too slow to be fun in any way. Um, I had to uh, get the ninth car unlocked to have any sort of fun with this game. So if you're uh, saving cash to buy cars, just wait and save up for the ninth car. Um, also, there seems to be a problem with uh, collision detection. Um, you, Unlike Paco, Paco, if you hit a car or hit something, that was it, game over. With this one... If you hit something, you just lose um, you lose lose health. Um, but you can hit other cars, objects, fine. But the police um, seem to drift into you and slide into you, and there's something wrong with the uh, collision detection with respect to you and the police. But hopefully it'll be patched. But as of right now, it's not. So it's okay. I think I paid five bucks for it or something like that. Um, there's only two maps. Uh, I think Paco has like ten or more. Um, so this thing could definitely be improved. But, you know, look at the gameplay. Um, if it's something that interests you, check it out. You just control the car by moving the, the stick up. That's it. Uh, there's no option to kill the music, although I think the music's fine. Um, I don't know, for five bucks. Something to pass the time, but uh, the collision detection certainly needs to be fixed. Okay, that's it.